How's it going guys, Vlad here. Welcome to the 10th Arduino tutorial in which we're going to discuss ultrasonic sensors. And as you can see I have the HCSR04, one of the most popular and inexpensive sensors on the market right now. So first and foremost it is a 4 pin device as you can see uh, right here. So you have your voltage, your ground, your trig and your echo pins. So in essence what you're required to do with this sensor is supply 5 volts and the ground and you're going to be sending out a an ultrasonic pulse and then reading back on the echo pin to obviously determine the distance and all of that is explained in the data sheet which will uh, overview we'll also discuss what kind of uh, useful functions you can uh, have on the Arduino in order to facilitate uh, the reading for the sensor so without any further delay, let's uh, get Looking started. Looking through the data sheet of the sensor, you're going to find a section which is called the timing diagram, which is going to explain how to actually send and receive the trigger as well as the echo signals. So as you can see, the timing diagram is shown below. You only need to supply a short uh, 10 microsecond pulse. So that is something that you need to uh, keep in mind. So you're going to send um, a high pulse for 10 microseconds to the input to start the ranging so the mod module will send out an 8 cycle burst of ultrasound at 480 kilohertz and raise its echo so that's not really important to you as uh, this function is on the module itself the echo is a distance object is pulse width and the range in proportion so what this means is the return signal is going to the length of the return signal is going to be based on the distance of uh, the object that you're seeing in front of the sensor. So you can calculate the range through the time interval between sending trigger signal and receiving echo signal. Uh, and that essentially is the time in microseconds divided by 58, which is just a scaling factor that comes with the sensor, and that's going to give you your distance in centimeters or if you want to divide by 148 you will get it in inches uh, otherwise you can do a timing diagram based on the as I said on the time uh, of the signal itself and as you can see we suggest to use over 60 millisecond measurement cycle so that means you shouldn't be um, triggering the sensor over 60 milliseconds uh, between uh, the readings. So let's take a look at what um, Arduino libraries are going to help us implement these So functions. the first function is fairly self-explanatory and I believe I've used it in a couple of preceding tutorials. It is the delay microseconds function which is instead of um, milliseconds sets your delay in uh, microseconds as the name suggests so that's very important in order to time the trigger signal the properly. second function that's going to be very important to us is the pulse in function so quickly going through the description it reads a pulse either high or low on a pin so as an example if uh, you set it to high it's going to wait for the pin to go to high it's going to start uh, a timer and then it's going to end that timer when the pin transitions to low so this will return the length of the pulse in microseconds which is exactly what we need to use in our calculation so it returns zero if the pulse starts within a specified timeout um, so the syntax you can either specify it with the timeout or not uh, you have to specify the pin and the value either high or low so this is f uh, fairly simple as well um, let's quickly go through an example so on pin 7 uh, we're going to look for a duration and the way you set it up is your pen's going to be an input and you're going to instruct a pulse in on pin 7 high so that's gonna wait until the pen goes high time the transition from that high to low and return the duration in micro so this program is going to incorporate several functions which I've just explained and from previous tutorials so we're going to define both of our uh, trig and echo pins as well as an LED pin in order to have a visual display of the distance acquired by the sensors. So the se in the setup we're going to have an output for the trig as well as the LED and an input for the echo pin. In our loop we're going to make sure that the trigger pin is set to low before we send any signal. So 
trig low and a delay microseconds too. Uh, we're going to do a digital right high delay for 10 microseconds and then digital right low. So this is going to send a pulse to the sensor in order to start um, outputting its uh, ultrasonic wave. So this has been described in the data sheet. Uh, we are then going to capture the uh, returning pulse uh, through a pulse in uh, function. So the duration is going to be equal to the pulse in echo high. So once again, what this does is uh, it waits for the for the pin to go high, and then timer starts, and timer ends on low. So when the pin is low, this is going to stop timing and our distance based on what is described in the data sheet is going to be equal to duration of the pulse divided by 58 if you want the distance in centimeters if you want it for inches divide by 148 and this is a PWM output for uh, the LED so this is simply going to be distance and I'm using it simply like so without any scaling because I know the distance of the sensor is going to be four to two hundred centimeters based on the data sheet. Lastly there's a 100 millisecond delay function to make sure we are not over utilizing the sensor. So if you have any uh, doubts on how to on what this is doing uh, I'm gonna essentially put a link on the screen for the PWM tutorial so feel free to review that. Uh, let's take a look at some of the connections that we need to make in order for this uh, all of this to function. So I will post a schematic of what I've actually connected, but just uh, quickly overviewing. I'm breaking out uh, the 5 volts and the ground onto the uh, rails of the breadboard. So I have 5 volts and ground going to the sensor, as well as pin 9, which is the trig pin, going to the appropriate location, and the echo pin as well. So wait, as I've shown before, you have writing at the bottom which indicates which pin is what. I have the pin 6 of the Arduino going to the positive side of the LED which goes and the negative side goes through the current limiting resistor which is 220 ohms in my case which goes back to the ground. So as you saw in my previous slide I have already uploaded the program so let's do some testing on the sensor. And as you notice, um, as I bring in my hand closer and closer, the LED should uh, go dimmer and dimmer. As I move it back out, it's going to be uh, much brighter. And this goes up to 200 centimeters. Obviously, it's going to be a bit more difficult to demonstrate on the camera. One thing you want to keep in mind with these sensors is that they're not... Uh, it's not just a straight line which will be detected. You're going to be detecting a sort of a kind of like a bulb. So it's an ultrasonic pulse which is traveling in an arc versus let's say a laser sensor or um, uh, an infrared emitter. So there you have it, the basic way of detecting an obstacle using an ultrasonic sensor, the uh, HCSR04 in this case. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to share the video, like, comment, um, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.